this is an interesting question if c and z are acute angles and cos c is equal to cos z what we need to prove that is that angle c is equal to angle z let's get started by drawing two right triangles abc and xyz abc is right angle at b xyz is right angle at y what is the approach we are going to be taking the approach we are going to be taking is this if cos c is equal to cos z in these two right triangles we'll try and establish that these two triangles abc and xyz are similar triangles if we manage to do that using this information then corresponding angles in both the triangles will be equal therefore we'll be able to say that these two angles are equal so approach is basically establish that these two triangles are similar and then establish that c and z are corresponding angles and therefore they'll be equal let's get started the data given to us is cos c and cos z let's mark those sides correspondingly for angle c and angle z bc is the adjacent side to angle c and ac is the hypotenuse relevant ones i am marking similarly to angle z yz is the adjacent side and xz is the hypotenuse so what will be cos c cos c is equal to bc by ac and what will be cos z cos z will be equal to yz by xz the question says cos c is equal to cos z so we can equate these two so bc by ac is equal to yz by xz let's just swap these two terms and rewrite it so we can write it as bc by yz is equal to ac by xz and let's say this is equal to sum k i'm going to carry over this information to the next slide this is what we have bc by yz is equal to ac by xz is equal to k what we are going to do is we are going to use pythagoras theorem on both these triangles and compute the value of ab and xz before that we can say bc is equal to k times yz right cross multiplying this and ac is equal to k times xz so we have established these two in terms of xz and yz what is ab by pythagoras theorem ab is equal to square root of ac square which is a hypotenuse square minus bc square so this ac can be replaced as k into xz so k into xz this is replacing ac square this minus bc can be replaced with k into yz so this is k into yz let's square this two k square and k square can be taken common from both these terms when they come out of the square root the k squares will come out as a k so it's going to be k into square root of x z square minus y z square this is the value of ab let's compute the value of x y x y straightforward hypotenuse square which is equal to x z square minus the uh, square of the perpendicular side in this case which is equal to y z square so x y is equal to square root of x z square minus y z square let's find out what is ab by x y ab by x y ab is equal to k into under root of x z square minus y z square x y is nothing but x z square minus y z square under the root so these two terms can cancel out so we get ab by xy is equal to a k we started with the premise that k is equal to bc by yz k is equal to ac by xz now we have k is equal to ab by xy so let's write all of them together right now so bc by yz is equal to ac by xz is equal to ab by xy this is equal to a k let's take one by one and mark them i'm going to mark bc and yz as one saying that they are the corresponding sides so side one in this triangle side one of this triangle bc and yz i'm going to take ac and xz as two ac is the hypotenuse of this triangle xz is the hypotenuse of the second triangle ab by xy i'm going to take that as 3 and 3 the ratio between corresponding sides of these two triangles is the same which is equal to k by sss rule that we have learnt in triangles we can establish that triangle abc is similar to triangle xyz so our objective was to establish that these two triangles are similar what are the corresponding angles c and z are the corresponding angles corresponding angles of two similar triangles will be equal so we can establish that angle c is equal to angle z Let's quickly summarize this entire discussion in a printed form we started with this so we can write bc is equal to k into yz and ac is equal to k into xz we're going to apply pythagoras theorem on triangle abc and find out the value of ab 
which is equal to AC square minus BC square, square of the hypotenuse minus square of the adjacent side. We can replace AC with K into XZ and BC with K into YZ. So we'll essentially end up getting AB to be equal to K into under root of XZ square minus YZ square. Let's apply the Pythagoras theorem on triangle XYZ and find out the value of XY, which is equal to square root of XZ square minus YZ square. Find AB by XY, which is equal to a K. Now, whatever we have seen in 1 and 2, the K should be equal. So equating 1 and 2 from these two expressions, we get BC by YZ equal to AC by XZ is equal to AB by XY is equal to K, which essentially means that using triple S rule, we can conclude that these two triangles are similar. Corresponding angles of two similar triangles will be equal. Therefore, angle C equals angle Z.